Hello and welcome to another update video about the S&P 500. We still have the opportunity that the bear market low is already in. However, the move to the upside at the moment is not very convincing. Again, we have a lot of overlaps. Yeah, it doesn't really come off the ground very much and we haven't broken above the previous wave four high yet. We're about to do it. That would be at $3,820. We haven't really done that yet. A move above that level would um, be a positive signal. Yeah, it would be a positive signal. But um, really what you want to see, if we say the bear market low was already in here, um, in this way, five of C, then, um, well, of Z of four, yeah, then we would want to see now. Um, so this basically would have to be a one, two setup and then another one, two setup. And the minimum you would want to see in this third wave to the upside, the minimum is actually the 3,988 US dollar level. Now we haven't reached that yet. And due to the fake outs we had with the S&P 500, we really want to be on the side of caution here. Um, we want to see five waves to the upside. We haven't got that yet. At the moment, this is a corrective move to the upside, which would suggest we will still see one more low unfortunately yeah um and we are really really here at the make or break point now for for a lot of markets you know not only the s p 500 but for a lot of markets um so far we haven't really got a year end rally historically there is often a year end rally um or historically there has always been one um we don't really see that yet yes markets are recovering a bit but we've seen that in the months before um the point is that as I explained in the previous video, this year from the high at around 4,815, yeah, we came down in what I believe could be a W, X, Y, X, Z pattern. Yeah, this is however, a very, very rare pattern. So the yellow count would however be the more bullish count because the yellow count suggests that the move down from a wave three into a wave four is a corrective wave to the downside. What is, uh, however, not uh, that great is that this is stretched out into five waves, W, X, Y, X, Z. And this is very rare. So this is why I'm telling you, this is basically the last chance for the bulls to turn it around, to come to a new high from here, um, basically from this green area, which is between 3,350 and 3,600. And from here, anywhere from here, yeah, we could even come down a bit lower. I mean, we can max this area out. Then we can still move higher and a good signal that we indeed have a low in or a more meaningful low would be the move, as I said, above 3,820. Then we've got the 4,200 level and then here the wave X high at 4,330. And if we get above that level, that would be a really, really positive signal. At the moment, if I zoom in, I mean, we don't really see that bullishness yet. Um, this is again a lot of choppy movements you know one two one two possibly or even here one and then a b c in a running flat moving higher now i mean we broke above the previous high but what i will want to see next is a break above the wave four high um on the other hand if we now lose the 3640 level so this low here then i think the breakout is already done and that's it and we're not gonna move much higher here and we'll indeed come down once more. Um, the more bearish interpretation of this chart, and that is purely just simply what we need to see. Yeah, The more bearish interpretation is that this move down is actually a diagonal pattern in a one, two, three, four, five pattern to the downside. This would, in a bearish interpretation, this five wave move could just simply represent a wave A, we will move up in a B. I mean, that would still be a possibility to take us close to the previous highs here at uh, 4,800 yeah, in a wave B and we would then come down in a C and that could smash, uh, smash us down. I mean, it might be something for a longer video where we really talk about those long-term options. Um, I did that once before. It's always you know, very time consuming. Uh, let me know in the comments if you wanna see that, taking you through the long-term chart and the different options here. 
but this is something that due to this w x y x z is a possibility that we had five waves down in a wave a there will be a move up in a b and the wave c is still to come and that could take us down quite a bit yeah so there should be i mean there is a potential for a rally either a bullish rally or just a wave b rally absolutely uh, even that should start soon but then there will be still a possibility that we come down lower and that is what we will be able to probably see depending on the structure that is then moving up yeah because if it is if it is a corrective structure that's moving up here we can understand this as a wave b and if it is going to be an impulse which we might be able to identify based on chart structure then it is more likely not to see here that strong decline in a wave c but um, that could then take us to new all-time highs but yeah, this is sort of what we have. Um, and at the moment, I'm not entirely convinced that a low is in already based on the price structure we see here. There is a potential, but I gave you the key levels that we now need to break that will, um, yeah, basically, that, that are needed to be broken to realize the bullish potential. Okay, and that's my update about the S&P 500. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and also check out my main channel, more crypto online. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.